The recent downward trend in unemployment claims continued last week. 787,000 people filed for first-time unemployment benefits. That's down 19,000 claims from the week before. Norm Champ joins me now. He's the former director of the Investment Management Division at the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission and the author of Mastering Money. Norm, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So I want to ask you, the number of jobless claims is down, but not as much as the week before when the amount fell by about 89,000. Is the slowing decline a sign of things to come? And which industries are really being the hardest hit right now? So as we've seen the resurgence of the virus, we're starting to see the rate of decline the you know, drops. And that's because <clears throat> as people are not being able to get out there, we're seeing some difficulties in the retail industry and hospitality, restaurants, hotels. So I think this upsurge in the virus is definitely slowing down the rate of decline that we were having. That makes sense. Uh, on the Senate floor yesterday, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said the stimulus bill has, quote, no realistic path to pass the Senate. I want to play some of his remarks for you. Here's the deal. The Senate is not going to split apart the three issues that President Trump linked together just because Democrats are afraid to address two of them. The Senate's not going to be bullied into rushing out more borrowed money into the hands of Democrat rich friends who don't need the help. The Senate Majority Leader doesn't seem to be budging on increasing these stimulus checks unless Democrats agree to repeal protections for social media companies and create a commission to investigate voter fraud. What kind of effect will this news have, both on regular people like you and me and the economy as a whole? So these checks, either at 600 or 2,000, are important because this crisis has disproportionately affected lower income workers. So if we look at retail store closings and the impact on lower wage earners, it's much more severe. So the checks either at 600 or 2,000 are significant for people who are suffering in the crisis. Now, whether it's 600 or 2,000, obviously that's a, that's a three times difference. On the other hand, what's more important is that we get businesses back on their feet and we get the economy moving again. Mm -hmm. you know, we can only these checks for so long the country's already in massive debt so i would like to see more focus on getting business moving again see if we can get our economy opened up it might be kind of tough right now with the new variant and and some of the other numbers we're seeing in terms of coronavirus numbers but um, a lot of people hoping that 2021 brings more optimism there. One of the things people are optimistic about, pending home sales up more than 16% in November compared to the same time last year. In an economy where so many people are struggling, why are we seeing a jump like this? So the housing boom has several causes. Low interest rates, of course, are a, a huge part of why we're seeing so much housing. It really has been the number one part of the economy through this crisis. So low interest rates are one, but you're also seeing a huge percentage of the workforce working from home. In that environment, then people want larger homes, they need a home office, et cetera. So we've seen this migration to homes, particularly from cities out to residential areas where there's, you can get outside, there's more space to work. So. I think the, the crisis is driving this housing boom along with low interest rates. But like you were saying before, keep in mind, that is for people who are fortunate enough to be able to work at home. Huge swaths of our workforce can't work from home. Their job doesn't allow that. Uh, they may be out of work or having reduced hours. So they are not the, participating in this housing purchase boom. So do you see this eventually leveling off? You know, I think it's a great question because we've got to see, as you referenced, when are we going to get the virus under control? Vaccine obviously rolling out. Um, how long is that going to take? And when do we have a level of vaccination herd immunity that people are willing to get out there and go back to the office and get back into moving around? So I do think it is going to level off. The big question now is when do we get back to normal life? When do vaccines and the better you know, treatment plus some of the herd immunity, when is that going to be enough that people will get back to normal life? Remember, in the early days of this, when everyone thought it might be a three-month event, we've now passed nine months. Obviously, it looks like the end is in sight, but the timing of that remains unclear.
Yes, it's the trillion dollar question. When does this end? Uh, MasterCard found that retail sales were up 3% this holiday shopping season. Online sales grew, it looks like, 49% compared to 2019. People clearly staying home, doing more shopping online. Do you think this will change how retail businesses function long term? So I do think this crisis has accelerated so many trends that were underway. So on the home, on the work from home front, Zoom existed, but all of a sudden everyone is doing their meetings and doing their work through it. Similarly, of course, online sales have been growing steadily over time. As your numbers there on the screen show, this crisis has really accelerated the online shopping. And I think like all things post crises, not everything changes, but there are certainly significant changes. And it looks like online shopping has had a real bump from this. And while it might level off, it's hard to see that we're going back to uh, online sales the way they were. I think the growth in online sales is permanent. The other one that just came out were the streaming services, which have seen huge increases in, in viewership. Now, again, some of that levels off, but are we ever going back to where we were? Probably not. It's going to be interesting to watch. I know I'm doing a lot more online shopping for sure. Norm Champ, thank you so much. Great to be here.